Hi guys, it's Channing here. Today we are collabing with Ponyfly and they sent this Mojavang hair wax in the color blue for me to try out. So I'll be showing you guys how that goes. They carry beauty and fashion products on their site at a very low price if you want to check them out. The Mojavang is $4.99 on their site by the way. This product is 100% natural, non-damaging. It allows you to style and color your hair at the same time. It's an easy process and it washes easily with no stiffness, stickiness, or any of that craziness. While you also get instant results. So it's like you're instantly dyeing your hair. You're able to see what you will have pretty much during the process. Um... I feel like it's a good solution for people who like to dye their hair often. So here I am. I'm spraying my hair because it says to start on wet hair, but it also says to make sure that your hair is 80% dry. So my hair had dried quite a bit. This was a fresh wash and go. You are able to style and apply the product at the same time, but I went ahead and did my wash and go a little early. So here I am now. I'm going to begin adding the product. Um, Armani, <laughs> one of my curl friends on here, she told me to use gloves, you know, and she just gave me a few tips. So I decided to use some gloves and I'm applying a little product at a time. You know, I didn't want to go in too heavy because I really, well, I heard from her that the product was very pigmented. I checked her video out prior to starting and I just wanted to make sure that I did everything correctly. So yeah, we're going to start with a small amount and we're going to work our way up. But the amount that they recommend is a finger full on the palm and spread it. So I did begin that way. And then as I continued, I kind of was able to see what I was working with. And, you know, I came up with my own little technique. But you know how that goes. You have to start light. And then by the end, you figured it out and you continue, you know. <laughs> so yeah um that's the way I started out and I'm just using the praying hands and I'm working my way down and I'm checking it out as you guys can see I'm very focused <laughs> but yes this product also works on black hair I find that very interesting and awesome <laughs> at the same time you guys don't have to worry about your color not coming out correctly because that won't be an issue with these pomades you guys should definitely get one and try it out at least to see if you will like it it doesn't cause any type of hair scalp irritation you won't experience any dryness because you're able to apply your product prior um I've been told, well, I was told while I had this stuff in my hair that my hair smelled so good. Like everyone was so interested in it. I found that quite interesting, you know, because I'm like, I mean, if I dyed my hair any other time, no one would care. But they wanted to know what it smelled like, what it felt like. Yeah, <laughs> I did like stick my fingers in my hair quite a few times and I did get a bit of a blue tint on my fingers it kind of looks silver in a way but it was like a silvery blue tint on my fingers but at the same time I did do the block method while styling my hair so I was wondering if things may have been different had I not used the oil because that's what I'm thinking maybe it was the oil that kind of made certain things transfer but I will say it really wasn't that bad I laid down on some covers I didn't notice any blue I had on um, it was like a multicolored jumpsuit, but it had white on it. And the only place that I had the blue was around the neckline. So I took it that maybe all of the rubbing that was a major contributor. But aside from that, I did not have any blue down on like the length of my outfit. And um, they did say go pretty light on this not only because it's very pigmented but because it could rub off if applied too heavily so make sure that you guys make a good judgment because I don't want you guys walking around here with different colors on your good clothes so yeah this is the process as you guys can see I'm just rubbing it through my hair in this section here I feel like I was getting a little impatient, so I started grabbing larger chunks. 
at certain points applying a little bit more product but I did go over it again because I did start off very lightly but I think it turned out great and it's foolproof, I'll say that. Just don't go too heavy in the beginning and or the end and you should be good. Make a very good judgment. And I think anyone could do this. You could actually have your kids do this to your hair and it turn out correctly. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I've done all the talking that I need to do. We're just taking it through the hair, somewhat like a perm, but not exactly. Maybe the way that you guys would apply your products, your hair products, just don't go too heavy and you should be okay. <laughs>so guys once I was done applying the product I did go through my hair and I look for sparse areas of course they would most likely be in like the back and the middle and I kind of applied some more product to those areas and made sure that everything was applied evenly and then I waited a bit for it to dry I did go outside and take a few photos that I included When I originally filmed this video, I thought I would be able to do everything in the same day and show you guys the results and everything, but it didn't quite go that way. I sat under the dryer for a bit, then I diffused a bit, I tried stretching, and then I decided to just do two ponytails and add some rubber bands in order to stretch the hair. So after doing that, I added, well, I took my bottom section and I pinned it going up. And I pinned the other section in the top going down. So that made it stretch even more. <laughs> I was really trying to stretch his hair out, guys. Um, it was a long process. So here I am in the next day showing you guys the results. I'm not going to lie. It was blue, blue, blue. Like, I, I don't think that I was mentally prepared for hair this blue. It's extremely loud and I was really thinking about changing my outfit. I was just like, oh my gosh, I was panicking inside, but <laughs> I couldn't show you guys that. So what I decided to do was to show you guys the results so that you could see what the color could do. I just wanted to show you that it was possible that this did happen to me <laughs> and that this, this product is so bomb, okay? And my hair was not stiff. It, it, was, it was really good. I did get a little residue and I showed you guys that on my fingers, but I was definitely going to put my clip-ins in. I'm so glad that I prepared them beforehand. I did go in after I finished my hair and I added some of this wax to my clip-ins because I was like, I might need these just, you know, just in case of an emergency. And I did. And when I did that, it just really brought the whole style together. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I did include a few photos of my hair with the clip-ins on the 4th of July. Hope you guys like it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. I love you. Bye!